briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an intriguing 1981 case known as Marshka v. Cross, the New York Supreme Court, appellate division considered the intriguing dilemma. Could a lawyer fired mid-case still expect to receive payment for the work they'd completed? At the heart of the dispute was a legal file. The original attorney refused to surrender the file without compensation. In response, the plaintiff requested a court order to compel the attorney to release the file. However, the stakes were higher than simply a change in counsel. The court identified a need to establish whether the attorney's dismissal was with or without cause. Did the attorney leave due to unjustifiable circumstances, or was there cause for termination? The court's ruling depended on these findings. If it was found that the attorney's termination lacked justification, they would be entitled to payment for the work already completed. However, if cause existed, the attorney would receive no compensation. Given the complexity of the circumstances, the case was referred back to the lower court, the special term, to conduct a comprehensive hearing. The original lawyer's compensation hinged on this outcome, with the payment, if any, to be made from the injury case's proceeds that had initially prompted the legal representation. This ruling reaffirmed a vital principle in legal services. An attorney's work, begun but not completed due to a premature termination, might still earn deserved remuneration. It all hinged on the simple yet crucial question, was the attorney's dismissal warranted or not? It was a precedent-setting decision that teased out the nuanced relationships between lawyers, their clients, and the work conducted between them. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.